Hello, welcome to this special video. I'm going to show you a new extension that I've just written, which is trying to solve a very specific issue with Inkscape. Uh, it's not actually a problem that's unique to Inkscape, but it is a pro problem that affects all SVG re renderers, and that is uh, what's known as anti-aliasing artifacts. This is where you have two shapes that are right next to each other, and um, because both shapes are anti-aliased, it creates this uh, white gap between the two. This is a problem that actually affects browsers and various other things at the same time. Uh, it's all to do with the way that the shapes themselves are rendered sequentially. Uh, so there is a technique that you can use in order to alleviate the problem. But the technique involves using other tools and it's a complicated process. And there is a best practice for the steps to do in order to get the best results. So I figured instead of uh, forcing users to go through this entire process, why why not do what uh, Adobe Illustrator does, which is have an art mode, which uh, does all of these steps for you. Um, with one caveat, and that's that because uh, Inkscape 1.2 is just about to come out, this is not some, something that I'm going to be shipping in Inkscape uh, yet uh, until I've worked out the entire design of what I want to do. But I want to get it out, out, out there to see whether this solves a particular problem problem people have in the way that it's supposed to. Uh, obviously, as because I'm not an artist myself, I can't guarantee that the results are going to be as good as you want. Uh, but do give, give it a try and feedback to me and let me know what you think. Um, so the way this works is, uh, let's have a look. You say you, you have, have Inkscape, Inkscape and you have some shapes uh, that are, say, right, right next, next to each other. other. Some shapes. Let's say we use snapping, snapping to get like perfectly uh, uh, equidistant shapes. shapes. There we go. Right. You, you can see, I, I, this is actually going to be very difficult, difficult to see on the screen uh, because it is a tiny, tiny pixel. Uh, but look, you can see a sort of X in here. Maybe if you're using the full uh, high definition video of this, because it is going to be a very careful uh, situation. What you can do if, you have, if you're using Inkscape 1.2 is you can use extensions, manage extension, and then what you, what you, what you do is you do a search. You can do a search for art. And you'll see this new extension that I've created called Art PNG Export. It's available here in the Export uh, Manager because it's on the website as a sort of like supplemental extra thing that you can install. Uh, you can install it and then close it. Don't worry about these warnings, they seem to appear I can't seem to get, get, get rid of them, but they don't mean anything. Once it's installed, you can go to uh, File, Export, and you'll notice that in, in the dropdown, there's now this Art Rendered PNG. Uh, it doesn't have all of the same options as uh, others, but it does have many of them. And, uh, and click Export. Now, by default, I put this little explanation that basically says that you need to make sure that the number of pixels that you want is four, four times, it's times by four because it's going to resize it down for you. Um, and we're gonna replace that. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide export settings to get rid of that warning. And we're just gonna create some something that's much bigger. Uh, probably, like dots print might be a good, a good control mechanism if you know the, the dots print of the final PNG that, that you want. Uh, and once, once you've, you've done, done that, you can export it. it. And then, uh, yeah, you, you will end up with a uh, PNG file which is this one, which is the, the right, right size, size that you want with the, all, all those artifacts re removed. Um, the actual code for this, I'm going to show you here, is very small. You can see what it's doing. It turns off PNG anti-aliasing in, in, internally, so Inkscape doesn't try to do aliasing, and then it resizes it uh, by four. Um, but it also does some other things too. So it's Changing the color mode to RGBA instead of sRGBA. This is so that it has slightly better color interpolation when it's down sampling. Um, it uses the, uh, what is that, Langos, Langsos, um, with reduced gaps. This is uh, the the method that I was talking talking about, which is better advised for like how, how you do this as a sort of uh, conversion. Uh, but that's it. That's pretty much all the Python that's needed. Uh, you don't have to write that Python. You can just use the supplemental extension that I've made available. Um, let me know in the comments if it's useful. 
um, I'm thinking about how to include it in the next version of Inkscape. For instance, it's automatically calculating the, uh, the image size sizes for you, so you don't have to do this uh, mathematics in your head. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching this quick video.